Hello, and finally, that's uh, the fifth, the last part of this uh, of this panopto session about uh, post enlargement migration, and that's the most exciting part because this part will be about you working and you guys doing some exciting work work about uh, post enlargement migration and its role in the Brexit referendum. So let's just explain what I would like you to do. And please do, because the session is shorter than it should be if we would be meeting face to face. So uh, here I would like to just say a couple of words uh, about what I'd like you to do, about the, the task that I'm leaving for you here uh, on Canvas. You also have it very much explained uh, on, on Canvas. Uh, so uh, this... Uh, Let's let's uh, let's look at uh, at your at your uh, canvas uh, module. Let's go to modules. If you guys go to module, uh, you will see that uh, there is this presentation uh, uploaded. Uh, uh, but you will also see that uh, the, there are two uh, parts of uh, individual work for you. Uh, individual work part A and part uh, B and um, um, uh, some uh, some reading for it, but short and exciting reading. So please uh, do this this assignment. You have time uh, till um, till next Monday to complete this task. But as it will require uh, your engagement in discussion, uh, please do please do it uh, just now. So uh, if you go to modules, uh, as I say, if you go to, uh, to 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 the place where I explain, uh, here you have all the explanation and where you are supposed to uh, submit your uh, your answers. Uh, so uh, as you can see here. Um, um the part a um, the part a of your individual work uh, 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 requires you to read the article that you will find uh, in the same place in modules it's a short article by Annie white and in this article uh, art article by white she writes about double return does it ring a bell it should because it was the uh, the last uh, part of the session about uh, return migration and Brexit. So here I would like you to answer a short question. Why uh, people that uh, go back to Poland return to uh, go to Britain? What are the causes uh, behind this decision? Um, so please uh, write minimum 100 words. So it's really a quick work. Uh, write why Polish migrants decide to depart again after having returned to Poland. Write minimum 100 words giving the reasons and submit your answer here um, uh, by March 30, 2020. You have till 2 p.m. to submit it. Remember to till 2 in the afternoon to submit it. Not after, and uh, uh, this is this uh, assignment is not part of your uh, final grade. And uh, uh, um, I would like you to also do the second task. Again, if you go to modules, and if you go to week nine individual work part B post enlargement migration fact. Check. And here uh, in this uh, module, you will also have uh, two uh, news uh, uh, pieces of news, news articles from uh, Telegraph CO UK and from Express. Um, if you click here, you will see the explanation of the task that I would like you to do. So, uh, where we already have been uh, on the, uh, you will find the. Uh, these articles, very short articles to download, and this task will require your individual work and discussion. So when you will be working individually, first read the articles and imagine you work for a fact-checking charity. Uh, 
You have been asked to verify in the context of either of the articles is true. Please focus on details and how data is presented. Submit your 100 fact check report here. If you have completed this task, once you have completed this task, you will be able to engage in discussions with your colleagues. And remember, before you submit your uh, fact check report, you won't be able to see how others engage and what are the fact checks of theirs. So please don't think that they haven't done it. Uh, you just cannot see it because this is one of the options. Um, so then, once you you submit your, your fact check report, please discuss with your colleagues how the EU citizens living in the UK have been portrayed in the, by the UK's, UK mass media prior to 2016 referendum and discuss the role of the mass media in the referendum. Uh, you have again till, uh, till 2 p.m. Uh, next Monday uh, to complete this task with discussion. So please do it ASAP.